Fire started at Independent Texas Recyclers off Irvington near Bennington just before 4 o'clock this afternoon. A shelter in place is in effect for neighborhoods surrounding the facility. We're talking about a half mile radius mm. around the fire. Channel 2's Michael Laparty is live there tonight with the newest information. Michael? Chris, Christine, as you can tell from the ground and from above, firefighters, they are still out here in force and they'll likely be out here working into the evening. The facility is right over here. You can see it's still smoking right now. And the chief told me that they're probably going to have to use some heavy equipment to move that debris inside just to make sure they don't miss anything. The fire at this recycling facility burned into the night. The flames were clearly visible from Sky 2 and created a large cloud of smoke that drifted over the area. Alex Moreno lives about a block away. We thought we were going to have to evacuate, but seeing it going a little bit that way, I doubt it. Still, firefighters ask people living within a half mile to stay inside as a precaution while they monitor the air quality outside. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Houston Fire says nearly three dozen units responded. The smoke was so thick at one point, you could barely see the ladder from one of their trucks. Around 715, the chief said the fire was under control, but not completely out. Pedro Betancourt lives in a street next to the center, which is called Independent Texas Recyclers. Oh man, I thought it was my house because I had turned on a little fire to to barbecue and then uh, well, I've seen this. It wasn't his house or any building for that matter. The chief told me the only thing that burned was the debris and product inside the facility. The chief also said that the Red Cross was called just in case any of the neighbors had to be evacuated, but at last check, we were told that had not happened. Investigators, they're now working to determine the cause, and we're also told that no one was hurt out here. We're live tonight on the north side. Michael Loparty, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.